Hunter x Hunter, episode 13. Back at Whale Island? Damn, if you only knew what Gon is going through. If you only knew. Letter X from X Gon. Prepare your body for tears. <laughs> I guess in a manner of speaking. Okay, yeah. There it is. Oh, is this a, is this a recap episode? I might skip this. I didn't watch the whole episode, but did he include how much death there was? Did he talk about the decapitations? Looks badass. I'm glad she got something positive out of that, because if it was me, I would be deeply concerned. I'm glad you're having fun, but watching a little bit of these events again, in a sense, it feels like a test of adulthood for Gon, who's a child, and I guess Kalu also, and also Lirio, who's apparently a teenager, leaving the safety of home for danger based on a calling that is not really accurate, or it's not the end point of the journey. It's just like a launching point, a springboard. Gon is looking for his father, also a sub metaphor in itself, but I mean, obviously he's going to find so much more. Learning how to navigate a world where not everyone Everyone has your interests at heart. In fact, the opposite is often the case. Learning to think for yourself, which is terrifying, because it means throwing away the, the safety rails. I mean, you could just follow them, right? And there's nothing really wrong with that. I don't have too much of an issue with it, but there's only so far that goes, and it's definitely a path not satisfying for everyone. It's realizing that the scope of life is hidden from you in a certain sense, because often it's the outliers where the sweetness lies, but you have no example of the outliers by definition of the fact that they're outliers. Other people won't know the outliers and in fact are, are scared of them, so they will try to enforce the life that they know. It's this quest for the unknown that contains magic. That magic is something like destiny. Real human achievement. Hunter x Hunter episode 14. And then cut a hole through the wall. Gon kept his head. Saved everyone, even Tompa. Hit X, the X target. What is the next challenge? Battle Royale? We're getting to a small enough group that we can actually... Okay, hello. Goodbye. Get to know them. Okay. Thanks for the for clarifying. Huh? Wow, imagine coming all this way and losing to just blind luck. Okay. This is Battle Royale. All of you will be given a random weapon, including a trash can lid. We've seen him bleed. We know he can be defeated. Who let Jack into the tournament? Wondering how they're going to draw the distinction when everyone can fight. Lua never pressed. I imagine that nothing would really stop them from teamwork here, though. If they so chose, if they could work it out. Hope you're better at this than rocks or paper. Does that guy shoot bees? Oh, they're all hunting each other. Are they all simultaneously hunter and hunted? Oh, that's Hisoka. Wow. Wow. But what's the what are the conditions for victory? Death? Oh, it's Running Man. That's cute. Yeah, that's a huge relief. Your target's tag is the Golden Snitch. I feel like it would have been more interesting if their target's card counted more. I guess they're trying to s sow the seeds of chaos. That means the target is, I mean, it's not really as essential. Oh, I, you know what? It's like Christmas Secret Santa, but less painful. You came in here with the wrong energy. This is not the crowd right now. Do you know what we've been through? Do you have any idea how much we've run? I mean, some people can start early. There's no need for them to wait. They just need the ID. Oh, 
私のターゲットがお前なら私も同じことを言うお前のターゲットは俺なのか<笑> Wow, you can really dish it up but not take it at all Man, so sensitive <laughs> Leorio would get worked up by a gentle breeze <laughs> Let's work together, work together Keep the bro, bro ship going How the hell, wait, what? How's he gonna, how does Gon get through this? But the way the points work, you don't need to turn on each other. Even if you get each other. Team up. It makes so much sense. Who's 199? Yeah, it's Hisoka. But you don't have to go after him, though. This really is Battle Royale. I feel like that movie prepared me for this event. Yeah, form a faction ASAP and find a way to rig the game so that you win. Weirdly, I have a relevant story for this. When I was teaching at a university in China, myself and a few other teachers were invited to this event that was kind of like a relay race where you had to complete various challenges all while protecting an egg. In the process of doing these challenges, I realized we could just take our time if we just managed to get the other team's eggs. So I went up to a coworker and accused him of having already broken his egg. And as soon as he showed it to me, I took it. And that was a huge mistake because it just soured the whole game. It basically meant that their afternoon was over. So I ended up just giving it back to them because it just wasn't worth it. Like if Haikyuu has taught us anything, it's that there's always more than one game being played and you're trying to win not the game in front of you, but whatever game is the highest version of the game, which in this case, I guess would be not having everyone hate you. Bottom line, I think there are a lot of ways to get tags without killing. If you have a card and a magic marker, you could even like claim you already took someone's number. And as soon as they hold it up, you just snatch it. You could start now on this boat. <laughs> Same. I notice both of them are still wearing their tags. It's either hubris or confidence. He just went somewhere. That's honest. Yeah, I also feel like one just he wouldn't want to kill anyone. There you go. Yeah, now you're thinking. Make it easy. And you got a fishing pole. <laughs> Clue was like, yeah, I'm just gonna kill him. Good luck with that. <laughs> I'm gonna put their organs in a paper bag. She also is the announcer for Metal Royale. Which came first? I was so sure there was a connection. The parallels are so similar. I had to go look and see if there was any connection for actresses between the girl in the training video of Battle Royale and this girl. And guess what? There isn't. Different person. One strategy from that movie is camping the entrance. Good luck, Gunjack. How did she make it? This is so cheerful, but there's a high chance they walk across that boardwalk into just absolute carnage and disembodied heads. Battle Royale. It's the word of the day. Seville Island. Oh, guns rattled. Yeah, we had a run in. Yeah, put the fear of death in him, which honestly was probably much needed. Gotta think. So we'll take cunning. You could just kill. I mean, that's that's on the table. No one cares. Killing him in cold blood. <laughs> Go <was> disappointed. <laughs> Go wanted blood. Maybe you can just wait for everyone else to fight and just. Oh, I was poisoned. Pick up the the tags after that. At least it wasn't coated with a laxative. That's what Tampa would have done. You could let one person collect enough tags and then just take out that person. You figure the 25 people that are left are either extremely lucky, but more likely probably great. Yeah, come to think of it, that makes sense. This is an actual hunt in Hunter x Hunter. He's still wearing it too, I think. 
He would, right? He would welcome any attack on him. Right. Hisoka is not a whatever that fruit is. Maybe there's a lesson here from his battle with the CEO or whoever, the manager on the boat. The dude was so worried about the choice of dodge or die that he forgot about his uh, his arm, not moving his arm principle. That would be a great way for Gon to flip the script on the whole AB thing, using a binary choice to disguise his actual goal. I don't think your fishing skills are the real problem here. Yeah, I mean, you already had that unlock. I'm worried he's going to be so focused on Hisoka, he's not... He's going to lose his own tag. Then it'll be Hisoka plus three that he needs. Analysis paralysis. <laughs> Gonna let the dark thoughts win. Right. Punching back doesn't hit back. And that's how Gon just spent the rest of the exam fishing. Gon's about to join that girl who's in jail for hunting endangered animals. Gon joining Goku in the list of protagonists or fine just wrecking animals. Why do I feel like Leorio is going to be the first person to lose his ID? All that's missing is for the zones to get smaller and smaller. I think we've become a little bit distracted here. Does he still have his tag? These birds gotta die. They're so cute though. Why did why, why they make him so cute? Why couldn't they have used like a pigeon or something? Maybe aim for the fish. Bro is becoming one with nature right now, so that he can destroy nature. Okay, that was a very PC way of solving that issue. What are you doing? You're just watching him? It's kind of creepy, but okay. What are you going to do? Blast him with honey? <laughs> He's no idea. Uh, once again, I'm just having a great time. Like... I don't know. Is it not a challenge in life if you just enjoy everything? Like, that's a great place to be. <laughs> but then, how do you plot your life? I feel like I just accidentally attacked myself. It's funny, the more I watch the episodes, the more I appreciate this frame. It's so perfectly them. Leorio is just out of his mind. Kurapika is prepared and in a strategic stance. Kalu is just too cool for school and <laughs> going head first. <laughs> Head first, but eyes in glorious wonder. All jokes aside though, I think this is development for Gon. Hisoka feels like such a key character for him, almost like he gave him a taste of his own mortality. And contrary to what I was just saying, I feel like that actually helped focus Gon a little bit more. Hisoka is a big target. I mean, hard to get more intimidating in this group than him. And it's not just confronting a difficult opponent, it's confronting a taste of death and the, the trauma of that experience. No wonder he's taking his time with it, but from that focus and intensity seems to have emerged and insight about timing, though I suspect that in the process of mastering this skill, this all-consuming fear pointing him in one direction, he's vulnerable from the back.